My name's Graham. I'm 48. I come from Southport. I've got two daughters, Tracy and Michelle. I've got secondary progressive MS. I got it about, about 25 years ago, but it only really came out about in the last seven or eight years. What used to happen to me is during the day I would fall over all the time because on my left foot I got what they call drop foot, which means I'm taking a stride and my foot hits the floor and I just used to fall over all the time. So at the end of the day I ended up in a wheelchair. My name's Hilary, I'm 43 years old, I'm married, I have two sons aged 11 and 9 uh, and a dog. I live in Orton, Lancashire, and I was diagnosed with MS in 1993. After I got the, the drop foot and my fatigue got worse, I felt as though um, I was uncoordinated and I was sort of falling and tripping quite a lot. You know, I had to really concentrate from getting up to actually walking and looking straight ahead otherwise I'd I'd fall over. There were times when I was in a wheelchair that I felt very despondent. There was hope however when I was referred to the Walton Centre in Liverpool to see the consultant neurologist there. He recommended I be tested for a treatment called FES which stands for Functional Electrical Stimulation. FES is a, a technique uh, when we use it in multiple sclerosis which allows us to uh, compensate for the foot drop that many patients develop uh, with this disease and improve their walking ability as a result. Patient criteria at the Walton Centre are that people have to have a diagnosis of MS and must be able to walk at least 10 metres with or without mobility aids. Referrals are accepted from healthcare professionals, whether they be consultants, GPs or therapists, uh, for functional electrical stimulation. Patient will be assessed for the uh, treatment modality to see if they're beneficial or not, to see if it's beneficial for them or not. Uh, if it is, then we go ahead with treatment with agreed goals with the patient. I think setting the goals with patients is really important. Uh, so that our expectations are uh, matched and also that uh, we're, we're not uh, letting the patient think that the treatment modality can do more than it, it is designed to do. FES was developed originally uh, to use in patients with stroke who had a foot drop, but the, the mechanism by which it acts is equally applicable to, to multiple sclerosis. So the patients that we treat are those who have uh, a, an isolated foot drop caused by the multiple sclerosis that we can't manage with other methods like foot drop splints. I'd seen Mike at the Walton Centre and he wanted me to go to Birmingham City Hospital to see a physio there called Christine Singleton to do tests on me to see if I was a suitable candidate for the FES. So I went down to Birmingham, I had the tests and indeed I, I was suitable for it. Although she wasn't convinced it was going to work on me properly but she, she gave me a chance, which, which is all I needed really, she just gave me the chance. When Graham came down to Birmingham, there were a number of problems that he had, rheumatoid arthritis, his diabetes and his multiple sclerosis. So when I looked at him with regard to functional electrical stimulation, I had to be mindful of these other conditions. And the major problem he had was the reduction in his mobility, and in particular, the falling, uh, which was clearly going to cause him problems if he continued to, to fall at this rate. I got up and I had to do a test walk over like 10 metres. So, Christine, I just got up, I started walking. My foot came up and I walked dead straight, 10 metres, perfect. And Christine turned around and she said, Graham, you can have them for the rest of your life. Ooh.